Yo, what is up guys? Mike AG or Fake Recon, how you guys doing? So today I have a pretty fucking crazy life story to tell and this actually happened a couple of days ago and I was actually told by my friend to not tell this story because, you know, he said he wants to cover it on his channel when he makes a YouTube. So I'm here anyways, I'm still going to tell a life story regardless because, you know what, this is a fucking crazy life story. So a couple of days ago, me and Refine Carpet, as you guys all know him, you know, he's my friend that, you know, usually pops out in almost all my life stories. Every single time I have a life story to tell, he's most likely in it. So a couple of days ago, me and him were at the gym, you know, we're just working out and shit. And then after, you know, our workout sesh, I asked him what he was going to do that night. And he said he wasn't going to do anything because, you know, I was kind of bored that day. And, you know, since it's still spring break, I want to kind of do something at night instead of just watching Netflix and shit and going to sleep. So I told him, you know, if you want to come over at night and just hang out at my house, play some Call of Duty, play some Resident Evil because, you know, we still haven't passed Resident Evil 5. So, you know, he called his mom, asked him, asked her if she, he could sleep over at his friend's house because, you know, he couldn't sleep over at my house because he wasn't allowed. So he calls his mom and his mom tells him that he can't. Now, here's the problem. One, if you were to sneak out, it was going to be too risky because, you know, his brother's baby mama is actually occupying his room. So he actually had to sleep in the living room and, you know, making a dummy in the living room it's kind of risky because a lot of people do go to the living room to watch tv so he says that his sister actually does go at night sometimes to watch tv in the living room so it's just pretty risky so 10 minutes later he was just like you know what dude i'm still gonna go through with the plan but i'm gonna sneak out and come back before five so that was the plan and the original plan was that we we're gonna sneak out like around one or two meet each other halfway in the park and then you know walk back to my house play some call of duty he was gonna leave before six so that was the original plan. So you know it hits like 1.30 at this point and he calls me, he's already outside ready to sneak out with everything, you know he has his sweater and everything ready to go out and then he tells me dude I don't think I could do it and I was just like why? He was like cause you know there's helicopters, police patrolling the area, I don't want to get pulled over for being late outside after curfew so I don't think I'm gonna do it and I was just like ah uh, alright then and so at that point I was just like you don't think you could just wait you know just kind of wait it off. Just like, I don't know, dude, because I don't want to get pulled over like last time. So I was just like, all right, then. And then after that, you're just like, dude, you know what? Should I take my parents' car? And I was just like, no, dude, I, I don't think you should do it. And I actually told him this honest opinion. I told him, you know, I have an angel side on my right shoulder saying, don't do it. It's a bad idea. I had the devil on my left shoulder saying, fucking do it, do it, do it, do it. So, you know, he was just like, uh, I don't know, dude. I don't know if I should do it. And, you know, it came down like 10 minutes later. He was just like, you know what? Fuck it, dude. I'm going to do it. So he ended up hanging up the car and then he ended up going inside getting the car keys he called me back like five minutes later and he was just like dude i'm in the car and i was just like really and he was just like dude i don't know if i should do it because you know it's gonna make noise when i pull out the car out of the driveway so i was just like oh man um well don't do it then so after that he was just like you know what dude i'm just gonna go with it so like five minutes later he was just like yo dude i'm on the road and i was like what you're on the road and he was just like yeah dude i'm already going to your house so at that point, I was just like, holy shit, you know, he's actually for real about this. He's actually, you know, going to come over in the car. That's that's pretty fucking cool. So he told me like five minutes later, three minutes later, actually, to go outside. So, you know, I went outside and shit. And then he actually pulls into my neighborhood with the fucking car. And at that point, I was just like, oh, my God, this guy's fucking crazy. Like, I wouldn't take my parents' car at all, at all. I would never fucking do that because, you know, knowing my parents, I would get caught easily within like 0.5 seconds. So... You know, it's just something I wouldn't do, but the fact that he did it was just fucking crazy to me. So, after that, you know, we parked the car, and we didn't park the car right in front of my house. That would have been pretty stupid. We actually parked the car, like, straight down. Oh, I have this really big park in front of my house, so. In the park, you know, in the outside of the park, it has a parking lot. So, he was in this parking lot, parked in this, you know, his car parked and shit. But it wasn't visible um, from my house, so that was a good thing. So... You know, we're just parked inside the car, we're just chilling in the parking lot, just hanging out, you know, just talking and shit. And then after that, we're just like, you know what, you want to go back inside and just play some Call of Duty? So we ended up going inside, guys. You know, we're just playing some Call of Duty and shit, playing some Modern Warfare 2, trying to get that quick scoping gameplay. So, you know, he gets over with this game, and I remember we said, like, after this game, dude, you just want to go outside, just chill again. Because, you know, I kind of want to get some fresh air. So he was just like, alright, dude, let me just play my game. So he ended up finishing that game, guys, and... He stood up right there, right guys, like right there, right there, man. He's like right there stretching and shit. And he gets this phone call from his sister. And at that point, when I saw the phone start by, like, when I saw the phone vibrate, I was just like, dude, that's your fucking sister. Like, there's no way that's going to be anybody else at like 3 a.m. in the morning calling you. I was just like, dude, that's your fucking sister. 
And at that point, I really got scared. I was just like, holy shit, dude, this is gonna go eight shit, this is gonna go bad. And then, you know, he was really nervous. He was just like, oh man, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? And then I didn't want to be the dick because the original plan was that if we got caught, he wasn't going to rat me out. And if I got caught, I wasn't going to rat him out. So that was just the original plan. So, you know, he was in my room and shit, just really being biased whether he should leave or stay. And then I didn't want to be a dick. I kind of wanted to be a dick at the time, you know, tell him like, dude, just go home because I don't want to get caught. But I mean, that's a pretty douchebag move. So I just let him stay here for as long as he wanted to. And then eventually, like within two minutes, he made up his mind. He was just like, dude, I'm going to go home. So I was just like, all right, and in my head I was just like, yes, I'm not gonna get caught, you know. Uh, I mean, that does sound like a pretty douchebag, and not, that's pretty blunt there. But I mean, obviously, no, neither of us want to get caught, and the original plan was that that was gonna happen. We both agreed on it, so it's not like it's really that bad of a thing, because you know, me and him both agreed on it, so it's not that bad. So after that, you know, he's, he goes out through my window, and he's at my gate, and he's just like, dude, I forgot my keys now. If he would have never probably forgotten his keys, guys, this would have saved this time and I would have not gotten caught with him now I go back inside my room I'm trying to find his keys and I'm in here for like a good 30 seconds trying to find his keys after that I find them I'm just like alright here dude and he actually ends up going to the car and he's from here I didn't know what happened alright guys I couldn't tell what was gonna happen you know after that but he told me this you know after the entire situation was over with but he said that after he left he went to his car he turned it on and he pulled back and as soon as he pulled back the car, his parents or his mom or his sister car pulled into my driveway. Now at that point, he said that he started driving off, like, um, because, you know, obviously he didn't want them to see him in my neighborhood, because then that would have um, showed that he was with me at that time. So he started driving off, and he said that the car actually, instead of, you know, them getting off and knocking at my door and shit, they actually ended up following him in the car. And he said that, you know, he kept taking a couple turns, you know, left to right, and he just wanted to make sure that they were actually following him. So after a while, you know, he kind of said that it was going to be pointless to do a car chase with his parents because, you know, that's kind of dumb if you were to do a car chase with your own parents. So he just ended up getting off and then, you know, his sister came up to him. She was like, what the fuck are you doing, dude? And at that point, he was just like, fuck, man, like, it's over. It's obviously over, you know. You can't really try to hide it and be like, oh, you know, I wasn't with Michael KG at all. I wasn't with him. So, you know, he kind of just had to, like, give me out. But, I mean, he said that he did try um, lying to them, but... It just wasn't gonna work because obviously once they see you pull out of someone's driveway or someone's fucking neighborhood, then they know, you know, who they're with. And after that, you know, he, I was just in my room. Actually, at this point, I was in my room just, you know, watching Netflix. And I remember I get this phone call from his sister. And at that point, I was pretty fucking nervous. I actually didn't answer the phone because I, you know, previously this had happened way before back in the day when I got caught with him. Um, lying about my parents saying that I was gonna go to Las Vegas. So, you know, I knew that if I were to answer that phone, his sister would have easily been like, oh yeah, you're definitely awake, you know, who, who's awake at 4 a.m. And, you know, my brother's gone, he's awake at 4 a.m., obviously he was with him. So, I was like, you know what, I'm just going to pretend like I was asleep, like I wasn't, you know, part of this at all. So, I left it vibrating. After that, 10 minutes later, guys, I get this loud, loud fucking knock at my door. It's like, and it's, at this point, it's like already 4, 12 a.m. I remember the, the exact time, because it happened a couple days ago. So, after that, you know, I hear voices, um, my mom and the sister actually talking, and along with his mom, because they were actually both there, the sister and the mom, they were just talking in my hallway, and then, you know, at that point, I was just fucking nervous, I was scared, I knew I was going to get in trouble right away, I was just like, you know what, there's no way in hell I'm going to get away with this, I got caught already. So, after that, my mom goes into my room, going ape shit on me, waking me up, like, wake the fuck up. Obviously, she wasn't saying fuck, but, you know, she was like, wake up, wake up. It's like, don't act stupid. I know you're ain't sleeping. And then, you know, I kind of just made it like, if I was sleeping, I was just like, oh, what's wrong? You know, just kind of gave him that, those sleepy eyes. And then she was like, um, come down here. I need to talk to you. So I go down the living room, I mean, down the hallway, into the living room. And then I see refined carpet, his mom, his sister, and my mom. And we're on like in a big circle and we're just talking here. And Refined Carpet's mom was crying pretty bad, you know, it was a pretty bad, um, it, it, was, it felt bad to me, you know, witnessing her crying and shit, it just felt like shit, honestly. And, you know, it wasn't a really good moment, it was a pretty bad moment, the fact that, you know, he took his mom's car without asking for permission at, like, fucking 1am, 2am at night, that's a pretty bad thing there. So, you know, his mom and my mom were actually talking for quite some time, and my mom actually did reveal to Refined Carpet's mom, that he smokes weed because his mom actually doesn't know that he actually smokes weed. And you know, at that point, she just got heartbroken. And you know what? Right now, like how it is right now, as of now, we can't really hang out um, 
besides like keeping it low-key you know we can't let the mom know that we're hanging out because now she's pretty skeptic of me and him hanging out i mean i would understand but more of the story is don't take your mom's car and don't sneak out but if you guys enjoy this commentary be sure to drop a like and a favorite also be sure to comment down below if you guys ever done any crazy shit like this where you guys took your parents car or you guys snuck out at night comment down below i would love to know you guys story or experiences and if you guys are new to my channel, be sure to subscribe. Until next time, this is my JG, and I'm out. Deuces.